Since I am the singular greatest pick'ems player, truly to ever exist, we are going to run through our pick'ems right now. I will give you all the perfect answers because I'm flawless at this. I'm the goat. Let's see. So we have crystal ball. We have our picks um, and then the leaderboard. Okay. How many reverse sweeps would there be out of worlds? Out of nine total best of fives? It's going to I. It's zero or one. I'd be... I'd be amazed if we saw two. I think one's pretty fair. Saying almost 10%, 12% of games go to game five and then get reverse swept S. The smart answer is zero. I'm going one because I'm playing for first place. If you want a right answer, you probably go zero there. What will be the duration of the longest single game at Worlds? Last year's grand finals, game five went like 55 plus minutes. The difference is, is that this meta is not super friendly to longer games. So in reality, I'm thinking this 45 to 49 is probably spot on. But again, I'm playing for first. I think we might have one game go this long because we're going to see we've got a ton of champ diversity and I think a lot of really scaling picks even harder than typically like I think we can get a game going 51 minutes how many pentakills would it be at worlds hear me out meta ADCs right now meta ADCs that are, are, will be picked are Zaya and Kaisa there's also I think probably at this world's the highest level of ADC play that we've ever seen and I think Kaisa can do extremely well here even Zaya Three plus feels high. But also there's like 70 games of league, it, like 70 series. I'm going to go three plus. I'm going to go three plus. The answer is probably two. I'm going three plus. Which Drake will be killed the most at Worlds? Okay, this is just RNG. I mean, every team's going to kill Drake's this is the problem. It doesn't cloud the most, like the highest spawning chance. I mean, this is just anecdotal. I'm pretty sure it's Cloud. We're going to go Cloud. How many Baron Steals would it be at Worlds? In the entirety of Worlds? You got to think how many teams are going the distance that are going to get Baron stolen from them. T1 is... Uh, T1. Love T1. T1 is one of the worst Baron setup teams in the world right now. Uh, they're going to... Them themselves are going to have two Barons stolen from them. Problem is, is again, the teams that will take risks to steal Barons are these Western teams. North America will, LEC will, because we're going to be down gold and we're going to need to, to risk it. I'm going to go three to five. I'm going to go three to five. I think that's the solid pick. That's probably the right answer. Okay, so we got the event ones done. Champion picks. Champions will be fun. Who will be played the most different roles in Worlds? Off the dome, you have to start assuming probably the three role teams, or the three... Roll picks, top jungle mid or top jungle support. Right? No ADC, no mid laner. Like, even if you wanted to say LeBlanc because she's getting played top, she's only getting played mid and top. She can't play any other role. So, uh, immediately comes to mind Poppy, maybe even Rel, possibly Maokai. I think Poppy's actually legitimately just probably the right answer. Gragas might not be too bad. You don't really see too much Graga support, though, anymore. He can be played mid-jungle top and support. Do we want to like that? I think I like the Gragas pick. If I'm if I'm going serious on this, it's Gragas or Poppy, probably. Who will be picked the most during Champion Selected Worlds? My first thing here is probably like an ADC or a safe mid lane pick. But what I, what I mean by that is ADCs aren't really getting banned. And so we're going to see a lot of them, a lot of the same ones. We're probably going to see a lot of mirror matchups of Kaisa Zaya, you know, Draven Ophelio, stuff like that. But also, on the other hand, like I said, mid laners, we could even see like Azir. Azir's a super comfort pick for a lot of people, even though Azir did just get nerfed, right? I think Azir just got nerfed. Didn't his Q get nerfed? September 27th? Yeah, so he just got nerfed. I don't think it's top laners. I think there's so much variety in the top lane. They're also not going to be I mean, blind picks. I think I think I actually like I like probably Kaisa or Azir here. I'm trying to think of the teams that are going to play these champs. 
Like Azir is specifically going to be in the east. Kaisa's all over. I, I think I might go Kaisa. I like I I'm I think I think we're gonna see a ton of Kaisa this event, by the way. Uh who will be banned the most during champ select. Damn, that's hard. Maybe. I mean, but they're not banning Renekton, they're not banning Orn. Not gonna ban Cassante, I don't imagine. Maybe Rel. I feel like people really don't like playing against Rel. I mean, I know for sure when I'm in a game with Rel, I legitimately just don't have fun. I think I think I'm like it. I think I'm liking the Rel pick idea. I think she's, you know, the jungle support flex. She's not she's not fun to play against. Who of the most total desert worlds? <laughs> I got you two answers here. It is legitimately only two champions, in my opinion. It's Nautilus or it's um where is he at? It's Nautilus or Rakan. I'm personally going to say Nautilus. Because I don't think the people that are gonna play Rakan are going to do it enough to make a difference. I think it's a Nautilus pick. It's a comfort. You can blind it. Nautilus is the obviously the engage. He's a support pick. Low income. Doesn't get tanky. You know, it's ending the game with two, two and a half items. Like Nautilus. We we'll have the highest win rate at Worlds with a minimum of five games played. See, this one's hard because you got to think what champion's getting played five games and then winning four of them. So you probably try to want, want to pick a champion that maybe I'm going to give you a hot take. I'm going to give you all a hot take, and this one's a free one for you. I would maybe Gwen or Jax, yeah. I'm going Gwen. I'm going Gwen. And I think I think that's a that's probably one of the hardest questions we've had so far. Who will play the most different champs at I love these questions. So this is a support. This is a support who's going to make it all the way through the event. Gosh, actually, I saw Ben's name, and I immediately think ben, Ben's going to play eight different champs. But is BLG making it that far? Who knows? So here's here's the thing. Elisang plays a ton of different supports, right? But are Mad Lions going to make it that far? I don't think they are. Is Kyria going to play that many? Kyria is probably my Kyria is my safe bet. I don't think Delight has the pool. I'm trying to think what teams are going to make it the farthest. Like JDG is going to make it. I'm I'm going to go. I'm going to stick with Kyria. I'm going to stick with Kyria. I think it's a I think it's a support player or a top laner. Who gets the most kills in a single game at Worlds? This is the easiest question on the book, by the way. Pace has already broken records in Korea. He's objectively probably the hottest player coming straight into Worlds. He's one of my favorite players in the world right now. He's, he's going to jump the most pentakills too, by the way. Who? Oh, see, here's the... Anyway, we'll go in order. We'll go in order. Who have the highest KDA at Worlds? Does it say a minimum of five games or anything? So we got to pick a player who's out early. I got a hot one for you. I got a got I got one for you guys. Golden Guardians have to play BDS in the play-ins. So here's how we're going to hedge our bets. We're going to pick a Golden Guardian player. If they win and make it further, I'll lose this question. But NA will have beaten EU in the head-to-head. -head. If GG loses, I'm a hoping that Stixie can at least go, like, can have one death in their loss. Just one. Yeah. So this is that's how we're going to hedge our bet. Honestly, this is probably the ADC from BDS or Golden Guardians. It's just however you want to play that. Who gets the most first bloods at World? Canyon's the best jungler going into this. Can you search by just jungle? Okay, you can. Nice. I would think Kanabi came to mind. Canyon came to mind. And Owner came to mind. Now I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna stick with uh with Canyon. Canyon or Kanabi, pick your poison. I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna go Kanabi. I'm going to regret this because I'm second guessing my Canyon pick, but I'm thinking Kanabi's making it a lot further. Who's getting it? At least one pentakill. This again, Hayes has set like the Korean record for like most kills already. It's in like a season. He's had 25 pentakills a season. Kaisa's in the meta. He's great on Kaisa. So that's our that's what our players are looking like. And then teams. Which team from a region with two seeds or less will advance the furthest through worlds? This is a toss up, guys. I mean, this, this is really, really a toss up. They, uh, in my opinion, probably Talon, PSG, probably, probably PSG. But Gam has a lot of experience at Worlds. I'm going to go Gam. That's a, that's a toss up, guys. That's 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 not it's not much talent in that one. Which team will win the shortest game? Probably JDG or Gen.G. They're teams that absolutely smother their opponents. Let's see if anyone can beat. What was it? But didn't Mad Lions lose in 16 minutes and 27 seconds or something this year? Let's see if anyone can lose shorter than that. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with JDG just because I have Kanavi 
getting um, those first bloods. I think JDG is going to go on a streak here. Which team will have the most Baron Steals at Worlds? So these are teams that are going to make it further, make it decently far, but also be behind enough that they're going to have to steal Barons. I I love Cloud9. I don't think NA's got it. And I don't think I don't think LEC is any better, but I think G2 is without a doubt the best team in Europe. Best teams in the West, G2 and then Cloud9 and then a big gap and then the rest. I'm going to put G2. I think they can make it further than Cloud9 can. But, you know, we'll still get stomped by the JDGs, the Billy Billies, the Gen Gs, the T1s. Enough to where they have to make plays. Which team will win Worlds? The real answer is Cloud9. In reality, I think you're delusional to not pick Gen G or JDG. Again, that being said, there's been upsets. Last year, we had the greatest underdog story ever in League of Legends history. But I am a big Gen G fan. Um, I'm probably picking Gen G here. If I'm a gambling man, I'm betting on JDG. Just straight odds. But I think Pays is if the if the nerves don't get to Pays, he's got it. He's got the W. Which team will play the mo which team will play the most different champions at Worlds? So automatically you gotta think of teams that are making it to semifinals. JDG, Gen G, T1 but remember, these teams also have to play a bunch of champions. I don't think T1 has the flexibility. I don't think it's T1. Right now, just initial thoughts, JDG, Genji, G2. I'm going Genji. I'm going Genji because I picked them to win Worlds. I think I think, I think they can make it happen. We got all the event locked in. All the champions. All the players. And all of our teams. Okay. I'm comfortable with this. This is winning. This is a this is legitimately a winning a winning bracket. Yeah. That's a W. If you if you follow these, I can guarantee you some rewards.